In 2013, one of the greatest things that you can strive to become is a generous person, someone that gives more than they receive, if that is even possible. Because you'll find out the more you give, the more you receive. You cannot outgive God. Mary Hunt once said, Giving from a grateful heart and expecting nothing in return is a sweet offering to God who owns everything I have anyway. It's the least I can do, and as I give, I experience God's grace. In Matthew 10, verse 8, it says, Freely you have received, freely give. Well, God's Word, it instructs you and me to be generous, compassionate, and to support those around us. Because we have been richly blessed by our Creator, we in turn, we're called on to share our gifts our possessions, our talents, and our time. Concentration camp survivor Corey Ten Bloom correctly observed, the measure of life is not its duration, but its donation. It's so important I'm going to repeat that. The measure of life is not its duration, but its donation. These words remind us that the quality of our lives is determined not by which we receive from others, but by that that we share with others. The thread of generosity is woven into the very fabric of Jesus' teachings. If we choose to follow Jesus' example, we too, must be cheerful, we must be generous, we must be courageous givers. We should serve with smiles on our faces and empathy in our hearts. And it doesn't hurt to remember that when we bless others, we too will be richly blessed.